What this does, if you walk over with me, um, you probably have a lot of these laying around, right? These old VHS tapes. Maybe you got six of them, 10 of them. 100, I don't know how many I have. It's funny, it's like we don't wanna throw them away, right? Because they're, they're like antiques, but they're really cool. And you don't have to throw them away. You can keep them, but the key is, how do you, how do you, how do you transfer the, the information that's on here? Because these are made out of a, a material called cellulose tape. I'll open it up. So let me get the little button there and open it up. There it is. This is very, very prone to deterioration. Uh, it denigrates over time because it's actually a cellulose material. It dries out and you know it gets crinkled and all that stuff. Doesn't last forever. These last on average three to five years. Um, so most of you, since they don't manufacture them anymore, you know they're probably sitting on a, on a table or a desk or a box and you'd love that information to be transferred. This is called Naxa. What you do with this, if you've got your old VC, uh, or VHS or a VCR, um, and by the way, they're available. You can find them online for like 25 bucks. They're cheap because they're, they don't make them anymore, so they're giving them away. Or you can find them at the Goodwill or whatever. Um, you can use this or a camcorder. If you've got a camcorder, you can plug into there. If you've got the little mini tapes in your camcorder, and you can turn them into a digital format. Not only that, you can record on the discs that we're going to give you, these, these pop right in so you can record that information and save it for posterity, save it forever. It's a brilliant solution. You get everything that you need. I'll step back over here and show you the actual um, configuration. I guess that was balanced precariously. All right, there you go. So this is the unit, and by the way, we've had other uh, multimedia uh, DVD um, makers or, or actually digital transfers machines, but the screen is teeny tiny, you can barely see it. This has a big jumbo screen, believe it or not. That's a large screen for, uh, for one of these machines. It is $40 off today. It is um, $159, not $199. Free shipping and handling, because we're doing everything free shipping today. You get 20 of the discs, so you're getting things to record on immediately. So if you just wanna make DVDs, you can do that. Um, there's a variety of other ways you can use this, but like I said, if you've got other options of, of wanting to turn things into digital, and, and remember, these, these will last 100 years because essentially you're not using a material like tape, you're using a laser and you're etching it basically into the, the, the uh, DVD, so it's, it's much more long lasting, and you will be able to take memories. By the way, that kid in that picture is over 40 years old. Right, Lori? Is he oh, he's over 40, right? Is Ken over 40? Yeah, he, only, he is. He doesn't like yep. to talk about it. Whatever, I'm over Don't 50. Don't tell anybody I said so. I won't, darling. I didn't, over 40. I didn't give yeah. his age. I just kind of <laughs> estimated. Lori Leland, everybody. Lori, people are <laughs> loving, they're loving this machine. It's compact and it's portable. And it, what a great way to be able to save all those memories that we've got in old formats. Absolutely, and you said it so well, Guy. If you're not taking steps to digitize your tapes right now, these are falling apart by the moment. So the timer is up on these. They're starting to die. They're starting to break down. Weather is affecting them, humidity, heat. These were not meant to last more than about 20 years, maybe even 10 years. So with the Naxa, and I absolutely love this company, one of my first stops when I go to the Consumer Electronics Show in, um, in January in Las Vegas every year, because they make beautiful technology that's super affordable. So what you're gonna be able to do with this is plug it into any device. So you have your source, maybe it's that VHS, you know, the VCR that you were talking about. Maybe it's your old uh, dash cam or an old camcorder that you've been hoarding over the years because you have no way to get those memories off. All you do is plug it right into the NACSA. We include all the cables that you need for this. So the red, white, yellow plugs right in. And then all you're gonna do is you're gonna pop in your disc and we do include the 20 that you mentioned, guys. So there's the little disc drawer right there. You pop in your disc. And then you're gonna see, once you touch play on your device, your video playing right here on that 4.3 inch screen. So you don't need a computer for this. You don't need a monitor for this. This is a complete and total standalone. When you're ready to start recording, you touch the big red button right here. It's one touch recording and it's gonna burn that disc for you. So think about this, VHS, VCRs, they are, these are not being made anymore, the VCRs. So if you do have VHS tapes, you need to take steps and take action now because they're degrading so quickly as we talked about and you're not gonna have a way to play these much longer I had an old VCR up in my closet guy and it was so dusty it wouldn't work so I had to go to a thrift store and pick one up it was only five dollars um, I've actually picked up two now because the first one died so if you have not digitized tapes yet this could be you know one of your last chances to finally get it done the other thing I want you to realize about this Naxa a lot of folks are saying you know maybe I don't want a disc 
Maybe I don't have an optical drive in my computer. Right. No worries. This is so versatile. You can actually record onto an SD card. So, you know, these little guys, little SD card, you can pop it right in there. It'll record your source. So your video, your family memories, baby's first steps, maybe it's Thanksgiving's, Christmas's family trips, right onto an SD card or right onto a USB drive. So this is really, really versatile in the way that you're gonna be able to record basically onto any format. And just real quick, I wanna show you what it means to make something digital because obviously you're playing my husband's video there in the studio from when he was two years old. When it's digital, instead of it being stuck, right, on a VHS tape like this, now you can play it on your phones, your tablets, post it on social media, email it to friends and family, share with the world if you want, knowing that that image, that video has been preserved for future generations, yeah. for family members going forward. Because you know what? You're gonna have to throw these in the trash someday. And what if you find some hidden gems and some treasures like we did of my husband that you're seeing there in the studio and right here on this phone of baby Kenny eating cheese. I mean, it's been so so fun for our family because we have an almost six year old. He'll be six in three days. And he looks at this video of his daddy. He's like, oh my gosh, I look just like him. It's so much fun for the whole <laughs> family. And this is a great time to do it, guy. Yeah. Because a lot of us are home more. You have that captive <laughs> audience. And it's you could project. even maybe use this as a home-based business. We've yeah. been talking about that too. Or make gifts for the holidays with well, your Nax and, and remember, you know, our today's special does come with an optical drive, but most computers don't have them. So if you do want to take a DVD that you've made and turn it into an SD card or put it on USB and then you can utilize it in your computer, that's a really great feature as well. We had about 3,100 of these to, uh, when we started um, offering these. We are down to 495 left in hard quantity. Um, um, and Lori, it's so simple, all right? You, you, I mean, you, you can see the unit itself. It comes with these cables, and you will notice that on the back of your uh, uh, VCR and on the sides of your camcorders, you'll see these color-coded um, cable um, um, outlets, and all you do is plug them in and plug it into the NAXA. That's all that you need to do. Um, it, just right. plug it into the wall. That's simple, right? You will see when you put in your tape or whatever it is that you're recording, you'll see it appear on the screen, so you know that you're recording it, and then there's the one you know the magic red button right on every unit usually record is red right you hit the red button and that little young man right there who's what maybe i don't know is he two or three years old right there those are memories yeah. from over 35 yep. years ago. And look at them, and they're gonna last forever. You will never get these back. You know, Lori, I told you last time, you know, I, that, I have that one um, VHS tape, um, and I have lots of them. I mean, I'm old enough to know that I had VHS tapes that I would send out, you know, for job interviews when I was in early TV. And then it went to, you know, and then actually I thought beta was actually better than VHS, but then it finally went to DVD. And now everything, you know, a lot of things are going digital. So you've got the option for all of that right, to be able to upgrade all of that. 475 remaining, see so how quickly, this takes like about seven minutes and I think people are like, wow, I got all these VHS tapes. I've got, I have actually have mini, um, what they call the little mini um, cassettes. You know, the smaller ones that go into, they go into like this machine right here. You know these, they, they have the little compact little um, tape inside. There you go. So, and if you got one of these, you can utilize it. Remember I told you about the, the little ports? If you come in really close, there they are. And in this, there's a white and a red. Those are, those are just like the cables, right? One's red, one's white, and one's yellow. So you'd put the white and the yellow right there and it'll transfer what's in here onto a disc. Or if you wanted to put it onto a disc and then put it onto an SD, you could do that. These are the different types of media, a multimedia. Lori, will you go through that for us? Yeah, absolutely. You can absolutely plug anything into this. So it could be, like you said, your camcorder. It could be your helmet cam. It could be your DVR. Maybe you're recording some of your favorite TV shows on your DVR and you want to burn a disc or you want to save it to a USB or an SD card so the kids can watch in the car. You're going to be able to do that with this. And then you're going to be able to play back all of that digital content on your phones, your tablets, a Apple, Android, share it to the cloud, right? Right? So you always have that copy available for future generations. And I mean, this works with anything. And then also what I want you to realize too, on the side over here, there is an HDMI port, okay? A lot of us have those HDMI cables at home. You can plug this Naxa right into your TV, any size television, like you're doing there in the studio, Guy, and use this as a player. So this is a DVD player. Look how portable this is. 
big giant 4.3 inch screen so you can actually watch dvds here if you want but you can also plug this into that bigger tv so you can watch your dvds back so the whole family instead of gathering around a tiny screen everyone's going to be able to watch and then look at this so really quickly very very easy menu so like you said plug it into power you don't need a computer you don't need a monitor there's no screen needed because this is the screen all you do is play your vhs tape or play your content from your dvr or or your TV, your cable box, whatever it is you want to play, while you're playing it, simply press record and it starts to record. So real quick menus, all you're deciding is where you're coming from. So in this case, I'm going from video and I wanna be able to select either SD card or I wanna be able to burn it onto a disc. Then I'm gonna choose, so I wanna do my video right here. So that's where you make your selections. It's just easy, easy, easy in the menu. And guys, this is so versatile. Maybe you have some old music trapped on a USB and yeah. you want to save it onto an SD card. You can literally record from any media to any media just about with your brand new Naxa. And like I said, you don't have to burn a disc. If you want your family memories off of VHS tape onto a little tiny SD card that you can pop universally into any computer in the world and play back, you're going to be able to do that with this Naxa. It's just, it's so versatile and it frees the video. And that's what we love so much about yeah. it. We're not enjoying VHS tapes, right. right? I hadn't watched ours in decades. I didn't know what was on there. And if you're spending $30 a tape or more to have them digitized, you know, we found an old episode of Night Court. Okay, well, I loved Night Court, but I didn't want to spend $30 to have that one tape digitized. When you own this device, you can digitize to your heart's content and you're not paying per tape. And then we do talk about sometimes the home-based business. I know some people have gotten a Naxa home and put that little ad on Craigslist and said, hey, I digitize tapes. So bring over your VHS tapes or I'll pick them up from you or you can mail them to me and I can digitize yeah. for you. And now that could be a little revenue stream for you in your sure. very own home. Oh yeah, if you, Google it, if you Google it, you'll see you'll see there are people out there that are using machines like this to take your VHS tapes and turn them into regular yeah. tapes for you. The only difference with you is, like we said, you get yourself a v, uh, an old VCR, utilize that because it's got the plugs in the back, but you can use a variety of different um, sources to create DVDs. And I love what you just said too, Lori, because uh, to, to be able to interchange some of those. So to be able to go DVD to SD card, DVD to USB. Right. So whatever, however you want to play them, you can transfer them. So if you want to put them on, you know, so that you can watch it on your phone, put it on an SD card. And then if you're traveling with somebody, you can get to your destination, pick up your phone and show people a video from 40 years ago. <laughs> right? Yeah. That was on VHS yeah. tape uh, or 30 years ago, whatever it is, you can do that.